Good evening, everyone. I am Madame Cornelia Lukon. We are here at St. Augustine's College for the Decision Congress. Decision Congress of this year. It begins today, the 18th of October, and will run till Sunday, the 20th of October. During these days, we are going to experience so many activities. We are going now to the chapel, which is used as a hall, where we are going to have reports from the various divisions. We have about 24 divisions, divisions as far as CWA is concerned, divisions that are made up of maybe some zones or parishes, and then we have far zones that are grown, we are grooming up to be divisions after. We will read reports from all these divisions. We are going to have an address from the host divisional president of Bamkikai. We will also have a welcome song from them. And then we will go to other matters after reading uh, the reports. We are also going to handle financial activities. Then we will have supper and other things will continue. Tomorrow is the very big, big day of the celebration. Tomorrow we are going to start with March Pass from Bamkikai Junction and all the participants of the Congress are going to march to St. Augustine's College, which is the Congress site. We call it Congress because we shall have elections. When we are not having elections, we call it a conference. So this year is a special one because we are having a Congress with elections. We are going to vote our leaders, 12 diocesan executive members and five uh, advisory council members who are going to run the diocese for three years. Tomorrow we will start, as I, be, as I mentioned before, with March Pass. And when we reach here, we are going to have the very big, big Mass and Jubilee celebration. We are celebrating our Diamond Jubilee. And so that March Pass will be in recognition of the Diamond Jubilee that we are 60. That CWA is 60 from 1964 to 2024. During that Mass also, we are going to support the Bishop's Project. We know the Bishop's Retirement Home Project is going on. And every CWA member is going to support with a thousand francs. We shall also support this project with a special offertory where we are going to give all farm products that can be sold in order for the Bishop's Jubilee project to go on and also to help the Bishop to reach to the poor and the vulnerable. After the big mass, we are going to have a keynote address from the diocesan chaplain, chaplain who will be no other person than Father Johannes Konglin and other activities will unfold after the keynote address. At about 2 o'clock tomorrow, we are going to start with the elections that may run till evening. On Sunday, we shall have Holy Mass and departure. Thank you once more.